How's it going everybody? You're watching Denimal Tech and today I decided to start the video a little bit different because I just wanted to show you this amazing thing first. So today I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad as a monitor, so as a second screen with touch screen controls. That's right, you can use your iPad to control macOS with touch screen. Let me show you how awesome this thing is. So uh, as you guys can see, I'm using my Mac right here, I'm changing, I'm, I'm moving my mouse and then and if, if I go to the left, my mouse is already right there, it's a little bit difficult to see, but if I select, I open this selection, you can see that I'm using it right here. I also can just uh, open up my dock, so if I put my mouse right here at the bottom, I open my dock, and as you see my hand right, right there and see the mouse, you see that it is perfect, there's, there's pretty much no delay. And as I said, it is not only uh, a monitor so it is not only like if I open Safari it is not only a monitor a normal monitor but it is also a touch screen so if I tap here on iTunes for example I'm gonna open up iTunes as, as you guys just saw right there so how amazing is this I just think this is awesome so in order to get that you're obviously gonna need to download an app Actually, you're going to need to download a software right here on your Mac and you're going to need to download an app right here on iTunes, okay? So you're going to need to download two pieces of software, but it's, it, it is actually the same software. Uh, it is one application called Do It. So uh, let me just show it to you guys. That's Do It right here. I'm going to have the link in the description so you download on your Mac. And then I'm going to have the link in the description so, so you go to your normal app store. So you go to the App Store and then you download Do It right here in the App Store as well. Of course, it is paid. Uh, such an amazing app like that wouldn't be free, but it only costs $9.99 and I think it is very much worth it. And as you guys can see, it just opened and it is back working. There's no lag, nothing like that. Look at how amazing this is. Uh, after you download here on your Mac, on your iPad and then on your Mac, you're going to need to set it up very easily and then you're going to have uh, everything working. Uh, keep in mind you can use it with a cord, so with a cable, or you can use it wirelessly. But I decided to use it with the cable because it is even faster and you don't have to rely on your internet speed so much. So uh, right here, let me show you the settings real quickly. Uh, keep in mind that we are using AirPlay to use it. Even though we are using a cable, we are using AirPlay. So as you guys can see, it is using as a separate display and AirPlay uh, is highlighted in blue. Uh, also, we have always the do it right here in our uh, status bar. And as you guys can see, I'm seeing Daniel's iPad connected for seven minutes. And so one of the first settings I want to show you is touch bar. Like, like how amazing is that? You can have an iPad touch bar because of course we can have touch screen. So if you enable the iPad touch bar, you can see right here that we, we now have a little touch bar right here. Of course it is touch sensitive. And if we just tap here, click on our Safari, it changes. It depends on uh, whether the application you're on. So here you can see the tabs and here you can always see See the volume and the and the brightness and if we tap here on iTunes for example it changes to the music player as well so it changes depending on the application depending on the software you have so it, it is almost like an actual touch bar even though my Mac as you guys can see doesn't have a touch bar uh, so uh, let's take a look at uh, a few more settings so if you go to advanced settings right here we can also have the option to mirror the display so both displays will have the exact will show exactly the same thing and then we can see the frame rate and the quality as well so we can do a little bit of customization right here and uh, as I said you can also do the air part so you can enable do it air so then you can do it wirelessly if you want to do it and if you want to go wirelessly so now let me demonstrate a little bit more for you guys uh, because I think you're gonna enjoy this so let me show you a little bit more of the touch screen capability so if you go to the Apple website for example and talking about touchscreen, it doesn't only work for taps and things like that. It is actually a normal touchscreen display. So if you want to scroll down, for example, you use two fingers and you just normally scroll down. It works like very, very well. It is very, very responsive. And then you can just use the website normally. You can click here, iPad. You can go uh, through your websites and, and everything normally. Keep in mind that we're using the computer software, the Mac software to load the pages and everything. So that's why it is so fast. Uh, if if you want to go ahead and tap here and then I can just go to YouTube for example I can tap and I can type on my computer right here so YouTube tap 
as you guys can see it is so fluid it is so perfect it, it works so well so then I can just like scroll down and then uh, keep watching keep seeing my stuff on YouTube right there if I want I can just tap on the search right there and then I can take a look at my own website on my own page so I can take a look at Daniel Baltech for example right here the second option and the touch screen works perfectly as you guys can see everything is so fast and I'm already on my channel and then uh, since I have a video it's gonna play automatically having the best battery life actually so almost everybody you're watching my video right there so I, I honestly love this I just love how fluid it is it all it almost uh, feels like iPad is ready for Mac OS it makes you feel that just with a few adjustments a few tweaks here and there you can have iPad uh, you can have Mac OS fully running on your uh, on your computer and of course if you want you can always bring up your dock so put your mouse right there at the bottom and then you can bring up your dock of course if you have the touch bar is gonna be covering that so if you want to use this with the dock I recommend going here and disabling the touch bar so then you have this full desktop experience right here on your uh, on your Mac and I just love this look at this so if I want to go ahead here open a spreadsheet so I have a spreadsheet on my Mac and then I want to open Safari so I have Safari right here and then I want to do a little bit of research I want to do some YouTube work so I can just go ahead and go to the Verge website for example so then I have my spreadsheet right here with my videos I'm doing some work here and then I have another website right there and then I'm scrolling I'm doing my stuff I'm working and all like how perfect is that and also there is a, another very important thing I'm using this iPad this very old iPad just to prove it to you that it works even with old iPads I could use this iPad Air right here this newer iPad Air but then I decided to use this old iPad just to prove that even with this old device it works perfectly so that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to show you this awesome awesome application so you can finally use your iPad not only as a second display as an external monitor but also as uh, with touch screen controls this is absolutely amazing so if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button down below right there down below also please make sure to put your mouse right there on my face on this little bubble and then click on the subscribe button and then on the little bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video and of course right here I'm gonna put a video that I'm sure you're gonna also love. So that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye bye.